rock Forget about the way it's the actual fact It will track the whole natural flow Bringing the lost dog Yeah, so I'm Connor, um, also known as Felix. Yeah, so if you see me on a stage with a microphone in my hand, I make gospel hip hop, gospel R and B. Is the new projects I'm working on. All right. Yeah, you can find Finding Faith. I assume by the time this comes out, Finding Faith will be released. In that case, keep an eye out <laughs> for right. the release. All right, all right, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we're going to see a little bit of your raps in the course of this video, right? Uh, but um, um, but let's even start from there, like. How, how did the rap thing come in and how, how what were you rapping about basically what in my in my old life yeah so i was just rapping about your typical stuff honestly honesty is my number one policy gotta be high quality bars delivered solidly and anomaly constantly your level Please. being a gangster <laughs> i never really put so much focus on the gangster thing because uh, it's inauthentic and i've never mm. been a gangster but still, like, you would have that kind of weird play right, in there. Right. You know, you'd take your inspiration from what's out there in the secular world, mm -hmm. which is a lot of gangster rap, really, isn't it? You know, right. so I'd be rapping about that, smoking weeds, um, you know, a lot of brag rap, so the bars would be about how good the bars are. Right. On the mission, on the mic, spitting in pockets for profit, the rap prodigy, the prophecy promised is on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, get that, get that, get that. Yeah. So, um, so what was it like growing up for you, and how did you get influenced into, um, into the wrong addictions and all that? Um, how did that happen? That's a good question, right? So, I was in a loving family. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong there. I was doing well in school. Mm. Nothing wrong there. You know, I was getting good grades and everything, and. You know, it just shows that this can happen to anybody. Right. I, you know, I attended a conference recently and a lot of the speakers who had turned their lives around, like their lives when they were at their worst, that was a result of their environment. Maybe they had an abusive home. Maybe they were in an area where they was um, heavily influenced by gang culture. Mm -hmm. With me, there was none of that. There was literally none of that. Mm. Um, everything's looking good. Everything's going right. Mm. And I just ended up with severe depression and anxiety mm. and suicidal thoughts. And mm. I had a lot of anger as well, a lot of anger. Wow. So it's it's not really the most straightforward answer. It just appeared to come out of nowhere, mm. really. Because I was always, you know, quite a happy kid, quite, mm. quite talkative, quite fun. And then it was almost like the flick of a switch all of a sudden. Mm. This is what I was faced with. This is what I was dealing with. Mm. So there was nothing really that led to it. Mm. So it was like a place of anger and um, um, you're depressed at that point in time in your life. And... Yeah. So so what, yeah. what video, did you have to watch any video to get into that life? Or, um, you know, you're depressed, right? Uh, you, back in the back of your head, you probably knew um, there were things that you could do to to do rather, I mean, to, um, how do I put it now, to um, dodge yourself, you know, at that point in time. But what was your, what, what was your go-to, like, at that point? Oh, it was weed. That was my go-to. That's what so I did. Did I... you have to interact with anybody to know how to use weed, or you just thought, okay, I'm going to step out today, I'm going to watch a video how to use smoking weed? No, did you have friends um, around that influenced you? The first time I smoked weed was with some friends at school. Oh, I see. So, you know, they made the joint and everything. And, um, but the fact is, I didn't even need that because I was listening to Snoop Dogg 24 7. Mm. People were listening to Wiz Khalifa. Mm. You know, you've got Cypress Hill with Be Real, you've got Red Man. And right. even these guys had videos, you know, them rolling joints in their videos, they're lighting yeah, them up. Yeah. And yeah. Red Man had a video, How to Roll a Blunt, Afro mm. Man, <laughs> so, How to Roll a Blunt, you know. Yeah. You know, so it was it was not it was not hard to to begin. Mm, I see, I see. So m music has a very very powerful influence, definitely. Yeah, uh, and, yeah. I, and I and I see the reason why. Um, I see. The, should I say I see the reason why you are into music yourself? What? Why am I into music? I mean, I see the reason why you're into music yourself oh. because um, um, you know, it had had a very strong influence on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I believe. It's even an avenue for you to influence people 
positively with with your music and, and that's that's very that's very instruct, instructive because i mean we don't know how the, the music we listen to influences us even especially as yeah. kids you know yeah it's really influential it's powerful um it, it's it's huge i mean art has a huge influence anyway and i would argue that music is is the i'd say it's the best art form out there mm, really right because right. it just allows so much expression true that, you know? true that so um what are the things you did when you i mean started smoking with was it just video smoking were you doing any other thing that made your life did you have an addiction um mm. you know yeah i had an addiction the thing is is when you uh when you smoke weed you don't see it as an addiction Mm. And everybody tells you it's impossible to be addicted to weed. Chemically, you can't be addicted, but we well, you can because I was. Mm. You know, you can be addicted to. It doesn't have to be a substance for you to be addicted to it. People are right. addicted to gambling. People are addicted to sex. You can mm. be addicted to chocolate. Mm. You know, so mm. you can't tell me that you can't be addicted to weed. Mm. You can't be addicted to weed, a hundred percent. And I became addicted very fast because. I uh, I smoked it every day, all day, every day, mm. for eleven years. And wow. if I didn't have weed, I'd, like I had to smoke at least two joints to feel what I used to call normal. I didn't feel normal until I smoked weed. And if I didn't have any weed, I was furious. Mm. And like that is that is an addiction right there. Yeah, I was definitely. if I didn't have any weed, I was a horrible person. I just mm. I hated everything. All I could feel was just sheer frustration and anger and just like genuine like suffering and mm. i had to get the weed and then you know i'd, I'd break my back to get some weed mm. and then um it's one of them things because you'd smoke it and you'd look back to how you behaved before you had the weed and it's like oh well you know it's almost like shameful it's like mm. imagine um and was, it, was it just smoking weed with other things that uh came in you know i believe um when, you know the way sin is when once you allow a little sin, it just opens up the door to many other things. You know, so like were there other things that that you, you felt like I mean came into the picture while after smoking came into the picture as well. Mm, not not particularly. Um, for me, I just kind of got deeper and deeper into that. That was that was my master. Mm. I was a slave to that. Right. Mm. So I mean, I started buying vaporizers and i started buying edibles i started mm. buying rick simpson oil mm. i started spending more it wasn't like other things came i just started investing more into weed so mm. i was smoking all day every day mm. i was buying concentrates mm. you know i was buying edibles mm. i was spending more because i was buying weeds that was like from california and stuff like that as well wow. um and that's so it was just it was just more of the same thing really I see. You know. So, so where, how did the change come about? Like, what was the turning point for you? The turning point was, well, there was there was a couple. There was the main turning point, which was obviously when I met Christ, which we'll speak about. I knew I was in the presence of God because I used to have such bad anxiety that I couldn't really stand where people were sitting mm. in a restaurant. I wouldn't want to go to the toilet. I wouldn't want to go get served. You know, mm. I. I I hated that I couldn't do it mm. but when I stood up in the church mm. I just felt the most peace I'd ever felt in my life mm. I'd never felt that level of peace before so I knew I was in the presence of God I, I could just feel it mm. intuitively I knew what, who I was in the midst of mm. you know and it was the King of Kings it was Jesus and wow. um, once I gave my life to Christ I realised he didn't want me to be smoking mm -hmm. I had half an ounce left Mm. And it was high quality gear as well. Like I used to get, I used to spend a lot of time and money mm. buying good weed. Mm. And um, I threw away half an ounce. Mm. I threw away my vape. I threw away my bong. I threw away all the papers, the grinder. Wow. Um, I stopped singing, listening to. Um, no longer, song. yeah. No longer do I listen to secular music. Right. No longer do I perform secular music. Mm -hmm. um, I started listening to Bizzle. Mm. That was, yeah, that, that changed my music game up. Got over money. Uh, got over money on a white tee. Got them hitters trying hard not to like me. They say I'm going too far, and I might be. I'd rather go too hard for the right thing. 
I put on for the team everywhere I go. Still ghosts over pesos when in Mexico. Steady yo, bet I rep it when the Fetty load. My guy said he never leave, and I bet he won't. So, do you want to give us like a freestyle right now? Hey, Amen. Yeah, man. Yeah, I can Amen. do. Let's do it. I'll give you some bars from the upcoming album, man. All right, let's do it. So. I got the holiest ghost rider in the game And I won't boast but I sure elevate his name If you don't know you can go to him if you pray And we grow closer as I go through each day All foes that oppose get thrown to the flame He sit on the throne, Lord of all I proclaim Spawn of the Most High bought us the way He the hero, he the goat, he the lamb that was slain He was innocent but he took on board all the blame And he did it all so that our souls could be saved Spat and sworn and tortured with thorns in his mane Flesh torn, blood poured so the toll could be paid Rode on a donkey, cheered on and praised Same crowd called for Barabbas as a trade Frame nails to a board all exhausted in pain so awesome the Lord rose and he still reigns. Yes, man, that's that's awesome. That's so awesome, man. It's been a nice time with you, um, always guy. Good, and um, I think you're a big inspiration, and uh, I believe this is going to bless a lot of lives. Um, so if you've, Praise God. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, I want you to um, like, I want you to share it, I want you to subscribe as well to the channel, put on the bell notification as well. Also, do well to check out other videos and I'm sure you're going to be blessed. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode. Sacrifice my life for Christ. Stick feelings, feet deep in the night.